Welcome back. Daily notes are a feature in Obsidian that I think can be really useful, but by default, I think some of the settings are a bit cumbersome. Today, I want to talk about the settings that I would change to make them more useful and easier to work with. So naturally, first up, we need to turn on daily notes. And while we're doing that, I strongly recommend setting up a folder to have your daily notes in. So the easiest way to do that is to hit the little new folder button right here and create a new folder name. Call it whatever you like. I have mine here under journals. So we're also going to set some daily notes options. So to turn on daily notes, we come down here to settings, go to core plugins, and we'll scroll down to daily notes. Make sure you toggle that on. And then here in the settings, you can tell it the date format you want it to use and the file location. So you just type in your folder name right in that field right there. Uh, and we're going to come back to this template file location later. You can also just, if you want to turn on open daily note on startup, that'll just be anytime you start up Obsidian you'll get to today's daily note. I find it useful, but it may not be something that you want to do. But uh, the folder is essential because if you look here at my journals folder, these are all daily notes that I've had. So you would have these everywhere here outside of this folder. And it just, it would clutter up your, uh, your notes otherwise. So I strongly recommend having a separate folder just for daily notes. So with that, one thing that I found particularly helpful is having a template for your daily notes. To do that, we want to turn on templates. Again, I recommend creating a folder for templates, um, which I've already done here. I have a templates folder. You can, by the way, if you go in and enter a folder name into daily notes or templates, either one that doesn't exist yet, you can come back out, hit new folder, and actually set it up after the fact. You just want to do it before you actually start trying to create anything in it. Given that I've already created my folder, I'm going to go turn on templates, and then I'll show you the daily template that I have. I hit settings here, or plugins, scroll down just a little bit, and we'll get to templates. Turn that on, and then if you go here to the settings, you can tell it the template folder location, the date format and the title, the time format rather. And so, yeah, again, I recommend having a folder just because otherwise they're going to clutter your notes up uh, if you have a lot of different kinds of templates. Let's take a look at the template we've created here. This is uh, going to be the title of the note and then a section for notes, ask, and then a checkbox under task and then goals. And those are all headers. So if I go and edit this, these are, these are just a level two headers. That's all these are. So we've set that up. We need to go set it as the daily template. I'm going to go back to settings. And so you can go back to the core plugins and click on your options for daily notes there. But if you scroll down here, you'll see all of your plugins that have options related to them. So now that I've done that, let's look for this template location. Just start typing your folder name or the template name either one you should be able to find it in this list and so now that i've done that if i go back to today's daily note you'll notice that i don't have anything there because i created this one before i had a template so if i go and i hit delete file and i ask him if i want to delete i say delete and then i say today's daily note and now i've got my new template right there so we'll go back into our note here that we're working on. And so we've done that. Again, this is kind of an optional thing. You don't necessarily have to set a template, but I find it if you're looking to record specific things or if you're looking to, you know, have kind of a specific format, template can be very helpful to do so. My biggest problem with the daily notes after I kind of got going, going with them was that they would clutter the graph. So we're going to go into the graph right here. You'll notice here, there's a lot of daily notes. 
they're all over the place. They're really making it difficult to see like where my graph is actually, you know, where things are actually connecting because they're everywhere. So if you click on this filters, you'll get a new option here. So what you want to do, you want to type minus and then the word path and then colon and then enter the folder that you have picked. So in my case, journals. So now I've removed the journals folder. If I do minus path and then templates, I'll remove the templates folder. The templates folder wasn't a big deal, but if you ever did go to add, you know, connect the template folder to something, then, or maybe you had a folder for specific things and you were connecting those to, you know, something. I don't know. That might be a reason you'd want to do that though. Okay. But we've done that. So that's all good. Get back into this right here. And so last, hotkeys. Again, an optional thing, but something that I can think can be really helpful. So they're, the easiest way to get to all your daily hotkeys is to go back to our core plugins menu here, scroll down to daily notes and click on this hotkeys button. And from here, you'll see all three options that you have for daily note. There's uh, open next daily note, open previous daily note, and go open today's daily note. So I have that set on control plus space. So I can be off over here. I hold control and hit space. I am taken right back to my daily note. I think if you're one that really kind of wants to look back through the daily notes, that might be something where you want that daily note next and daily note previous. Those could be really helpful. But um, in my opinion, the uh, get back to daily note can be really helpful. Um, there is the button right here to do so. But sometimes, you know, I'm in the middle of something, typing something, and I don't necessarily want to drag my mouse all the way over here to do that. So I think that's something that could be really helpful just to get back to that home page for that. But uh, there are... Keyboard shortcuts are really going to be something that can really be helpful here for you in uh, Obsidian. But that is it for today. Uh, please let me know if you have any other questions about daily notes or anything in particular. I think we are going to have another Obsidian video. I think this next one is going to be a little bit different. I hope it'll be uh, informative for you, just like I hope today's was. Uh, thank you, everybody, and have a great one.